Sarawak's new hydrogen-powered smart trams are a work of art in more ways than one. They're not just easy on the eye, but on the environment too, as many in Kuching found out themselves during the recent test run. The Sarawak government is pinning its hopes on these futuristic-looking and flexible vehicles to take public transport in the state to the next level. Flexibility here is good in the sense that whenever the demand pattern change, you can reroute the services to a higher demand corridor as and when needed. So um, even for small towns and cities, um, this form of public transport can be useful um, in satisfying the demand uh, that, that cannot be met by other type of public transport like taxis and buses. Unlike trains that run on tracks, the China-made ART vehicles will run on dedicated lanes along existing roads. Rosalie said this means significant savings on infrastructure costs, which will translate into lower fares. The investment in uh, hydrogen tram um, is quite limited in the sense that uh, it, it made use of existing roads. And even if the authorities were to design um, dedicated roadways for uh, hydrogen tram, uh, the costs uh, are quite minimal as compared to, say, building LRT or MRT. Uh, with low investment, obviously the ticket price will be quite cheap and affordable by a lot more people. Former Land Public Transport Commission official Wan Agil Wan Hassan lauded the Sarawak government for using hydrogen-powered trams. Hydrogen is being hailed as a game-changer in the energy sector, and Wan Agil said its use in the ART makes it a cleaner and greener alternative to electricity. The long lifespan of hydrogen cells also makes them a more dependable fuel source. Countries in, in the Western start moving towards hydro. And I think if we are not ready to invest, we might be left behind. Sarawak's ART is the world's first hydrogen-powered smart tram system. And the people of Kuching will be the first to ride it once it is operational at the end of 2025. Jason Desmond, FMT News.